Hi, my name is uh, Dave Whiteley. I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited, and I'd like to take this opportunity to um, go through uh, the migration process for Autodesk Inventor. Uh, I'm going to show you how we can uh, take a, a later release of Inventor, install it, and migrate the settings from our previous Inventor. In this instance, I'm going to use uh, 2014 to a 2015 migration, and this is how we do it. So if we look at the application options and the file tab in Inventor 2014, you'll notice here that I'm already pointing my templates and my design data or styles library and my default content center files to a shared location on my server. I'm assuming that um, you would be installing for a group of uh, designers such that um, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be needing to share the uh, the relevant resources on a server for all your users. But first of all, if we were to install um, Inventor from scratch, you will notice that the templates are actually, well, let's look at the content center first. The content center location is on your, your My Documents Inventor, content center files are 2014, and then you've got the ENUS folder that then contains all the, all the relevant subfolders for your fasteners. Now that's what we'll, that's the folder location that you would see for the content center. For the templates and the design data, by default, they will be in users, public, public documents, Autodesk, Inventor 2014, and then there in here you'll see the templates folder and the design data folder. You would need to copy these across to your server uh, so that you can then uh, share these to all your other designers. It is important that you have, if you have a mix of inventor, rooted systems and professional, you take the highest level that you have and copy those folders across to the server. I.e. if you've got inventor professional and other systems, other machines on inventor, you would copy the inventor professional folders across to the server. It's very important, especially with the design data folder. Once you've copied these across to the server, you would have something like this. In my instance, I've got a subfolder called Templates 2014, a subfolder called Styles 2014, and a subfolder called Content, with no number after it representing the version of Inventor. In this instance, uh, with my Inventor 2014, I could then point the Templates to the Templates folder, the Design Data to the folder on the server that's got a copy of the Design Data in, and the default Content Center files to my Content folder. Uh, I can then run the Inventor 2014, fine, everybody can share the uh, location and everybody sees, sees exactly the same templates and styles and content. Now when I move to the next release of Inventor, i.e. 2015 in this instance, I'm going to need to go to my server, take a copy of my templates folder, take a copy of my styles folder, But leave the content folder as it is because you need to make sure that you're always using the same content folder throughout your releases of Inventor. It's very, very important. Otherwise, what's going to happen is if you use the default location on the new release, when you come to open up assemblies, it's not going to find the content for the fasteners, bearings, uh, steelwork, etc., that that assembly requires because the content location has changed from release to release. However, in this case, we're going to leave content alone and every new release of Inventor will still point to this folder. So let's just change the uh, name of these copies. So that's going to be Styles 2015 and that's going to be copy, uh, Templates 2015. I'm leaving the originals alone just in case I need them again or just in case I need to access perhaps an earlier inventor, uh, which I can on my subscription. So these are the copies of the style folders and the templates folders. Okay, so now we need to migrate these. To migrate these, we need to run up 2015 first. It's important that we uh, run the latest release of Inventor that we've just installed so that when we run our migration uh, routines it, it, it actually runs the correct Inventor. We don't have to re-register or anything like that. So we run up our Inventor and again you would do you would run up the highest 
level of inventor you have. So in this case, I'm running Inventor Professional 2015, the latest release that I've just installed, and it's the professional version because I have both in my company. So we run this the once, and then once we've run it, we can then do two things. We can then uh, migrate the style library, and we can migrate the templates. Okay, so our inventor has started. We can close this down. Okay. So now we go to Start, All Programs, Autodesk, Inventor 2015. And in here you'll see Tools. And in Tools we're going to use two routines. One is the Style Library Manager and one is the task scheduler. First of all, we're gonna run the style library manager. And the style library manager will enable us to point to this new styles 2015 folder on our server. Okay, so we're pointing to this new uh, copied folder. And because we've copied the 2014 styles across, it's going to want to migrate these up to 2015. All right, we're running the Style Library Manager 2015. We have a copy of the 2014 styles that we've just renamed to Styles 2015 or whatever you want to call it. Click on Migrate. This will then migrate the styles. Once we've migrated the styles, we will get a dialog saying that it's been successful. The migrate will gray out and that folder would now have been migrated to 2015. So our styles have uh, successfully migrated. We can click on OK. The migrate button is greyed out because everything's up to date and we can exit the style library manager. Next we need to migrate the templates that we've copied across to a new folder. So we go to all programs, Autodesk, Inventor 2015 and Tools, and in here we run up the task scheduler. Now in the task scheduler, we go to create task and migrate files. We click on the add folder button and select from our shared location, our templates 2015 folder. We want to up, uh, run the migrate immediately. We don't want to put it on a, a scheduled start time. We don't really want a log file. We'll go to options and we'll tell it that we want to do a total rebuild, rebuild of these templates. We want to skip migrated files. Uh, we want to skip files with unresolved references and we want to purge old versions. Now, it's uh, worth mentioning that uh, some of the migrations may fail. Uh, certain templates in the uh, templates folder are read-only. So you may want to uh, take the folder here first, go to its properties, and take off read-only on all the files on this folder and any subfolders, such that all the template files in this folder are read-write. It means then that when we actually come to run the migration, it will migrate all files and won't fail on any that are read-only. The other thing you may want to do is in here, you may want to remove things like the old versions folder and any other folders that you may have added in the past that you don't really want to migrate. So we'll go ahead and click on OK on the migrate. This will run immediately. It will start, it will uh, pre-process the files in the uh, template folder and it will run up Inventor in the background and we'll see the memory in use by Inventor and it will run through all the uh, templates, migrate them individually and uh, update them to 2015. It's a lot quicker than having to open each template individually in Inventor and resaving each template one after another. This is a lot, lot quicker and this can of course be done perhaps uh, lunch, over lunchtime or overnight or something like that. It's important to note that uh, there is a counter at the bottom here that's showing you the successful files and any failed files. Uh, if you do get any failures, 
you can always click on the log file at the end and uh, see what, what's actually happened. But because I've actually made all my files read write, I shouldn't have a problem. Occasionally the memory will drop to zero and restart. Um, it's purely because Inventor has restarted in the background. That's not to be uh, worried about. So my task has uh, ended. You notice that the status is completed. I've got a green tick to show that everything has been migrated. We can now shut down the task scheduler. So if we go to Inventor 2015, we can now uh, configure the application options on all our Inventor uh, machines on our, on our network. So we just go to Tools and Application Options. We go to the File tab. And now we point our templates to our server, to the Templates 2015 folder. We point our design data to the server, to the styles 2015 in this case, called it design data 2015 if you wish. And most importantly, the content center files to the server and the content folder. So these are the three main locations that we need to configure for our shared migrated Inventor 2015. Do not click on configure default templates from now on because if you do, it will override any templates in this folder. It's also important to note that in uh, your templates folder, you should have at least the standard.ipt, standard.iam and standard.dwg templates because these are required by some of the functionality within Inventor such as um, copy design and uh, various other routines in Inventor that need um, all my, um, uh, making components from a multi-body part as an example. It uses by default the standard.ipt and the standard.iam templates. So you need to make sure you've still got these in your template folder. The other thing you may want to do is have a shared projects folder. This is not absolutely necessary, but if you have a shared projects folder on your um, network drive, then everybody will see exactly the same projects. It's worth noting that the default content center files is not really required by anybody using the vault, but it's still worth doing this just in case you, you create non-vault projects for other work outside of the vault. So it's still worth doing this. If you have any VBA projects created, then of course you need to put this on a shared folder. Um, and again, if, you would, if this was created in 2014, make sure you copy the 2014 version across to the shared folder. So now that we have this set, we'll just check this is working. And if you go to new, you'll now see that as I select my various templates, you'll see up here, it's actually going to the correct folder to, um, on the server to, uh, to uh, access the, the relevant template. So we know this is now working. Uh, and if I start a part up, then this will start up quite happily using the updated styles library. And all our updates to um, Perhaps in the drawings, we might have changed from uh, first to third angle, all our updated materials, etc., are all coming through to the um, to the new 2015 inventor. So, thank you very much for watching. My name is Dave Whiteley. Uh, if you need to see any of our other YouTube videos, then our channel is Envisage UK Ltd, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. And thank you very much for watching.